Hello friends, welcome to Teed Up Grand Strand, a production of Wingding Media, presented by the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail and Thoroughbred Shop House. Today is 9-11, my friends, and I, I got two people that are doing amazing things in remembrance of what happened 23 years ago. So, Joe and David, if you don't mind, please introduce yourselves, because you guys have done so much, you got a lot of titles, I, I want everybody to know what, what, who you are. Hello, my name is Joe Del Duca. Uh, I'm a retired major from the United States Army, and after I retired, I became a registered nurse. David? My name's David Boucher. I'm a retired firefighter from the city of New York, as well as a retired lieutenant colonel from the United States Army. What I do down here is we run the Tunnel of Towers golf tournament. So, Tunnel of Towers. You know, I, I didn't know about this event until probably... 10 years ago. So I was a little bit slow in finding out what was going on. And I'm sure there's other people like me that don't know, but it's such a great, great organization. Tunnel to Towers. Can one of you gentlemen please tell me why it's called Tunnel to Towers? On 9-11, uh, on Stephen Silla, son of Frank Silla, Stephen Silla is a 34-year-old father of five from Staten Island, was on his way to play golf with his brothers when he heard on a scanner that the towers got hit. What he did was he returned to his firehouse, got his bunker gear, put it in his pickup truck, and drove to the towers. Unfortunately, the, all, the entire city was locked down. The bridges and all the tunnels were locked up and closed. Stephen took his bunker gear out of his pickup truck, put it on, and ran through the tunnel, through the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, to the towers, and perished when the towers fell. So it was called Tunnel to Towers to, to simulate what Stephen did on that day. What Frank Silla did in remembrance of his brother was create a run, a 5K run, that people run from the, through the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel to the Towers to commemorate Stephen's run. Um, and what, what also, the first run on the first run that year was 2,500 people. Last year, 2023, we ran 36,000 people at that run. We That's literally amazing. closed down downtown Manhattan. That's amazing. So, so what, what day do they do that? Like today? Or no, they it? do that. They're actually doing it on a Sunday, the fourth Sunday in September every year. Oh, wow. So people could, could, could get into that if they want to do that. Do yes. they raise money while, while they, they run? They charge each person for entering the run. And we have a lot of sponsorship and things like that. Great. So, Tunnel to Towers, from, from something that was so tragic, you guys are doing magic. And the magic is you're raising money? Correct. Who are you raising money for, Dave? What we do is we raise money. The initial program was to honor Gold Star families. That's a service member's family that's lost their lives in the line of duty. And first responder families that they lose one in the line of duty. We pay, give them mortgage-free homes if they have young children. Mortgage-free homes, no, no debt. Wow. Correct. The uh, locally, we took care of Sergeant David Gordon Best in uh, North Myrtle Beach. We paid off his mortgage, his family's mortgage, as well as David Jonathan Price out of Sumter County, and Stephen Gillette out of Marion County. So we have taken care of people locally. And so locally, other, meaning the the Grand Strand area. Correct. Even though this this was you know happened um, in New York. Correct. Yes. This is the, amazing. The, so the tournament ha happened. The Tunnel Towers tournament is nationwide. It right. supports everybody. Right. But locally, we have supported three people. Right. I don't like. I don't want it locally because that means somebody locally has gotten hurt. That's but right. it's there if you need them. That's amazing. So then again, people sacrificed their life. They died. I think it was twenty nine hundred and seventy seven people. Uh, died that day. I remember that day. You know, yeah, it was like it's just like everybody. We had friends in New York. You know, a lot of people retired here from New York, so there was a lot of families that were in shock, waiting to find out what happened. So, so this is great that you're doing this tournament. How can we help? I know uh, the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail is a sponsor of the show. They, the the pros, have your uh, uh, email. They've got your your flyer. They're sending gift certificates, so you can do whatever you need to do with them. Uh, let's talk about the tournament so we can get the word out. I believe it's sold out, though, David. So how, how can people the, help? Uh, the tournament has been sold out every year since in its inception. In fact, we had to go to two courses. 
What does the tournament need? We need sponsors, major sponsors, that could take over sponsoring the uh, tournament itself. Uh, we need gift certificates from restaurants okay. and uh, any shops or whatnot. Because what we do to raise money at the event is we have gift baskets that we sell out, and they put like a Chinese auction type thing. Right. Uh, any memorabilia that I think would be a good silent auction silent, item, yeah, golf yeah. items, whatnot, that. And I thank the golf trail people because they gave given us numerous foursomes of golf courses that we had used in a silent auction. So, so they were very appreciative. So that's how locals can help you, right? Local golf courses, local restaurants, they can they can give you certificates so that you can raffle them or use them, a raffle prize, silent auction prize. So that's going to help. That's one way all of our friends in the industry here can help. Correct, they um, can. Joe, what, what, what else can we do? What do we, what message do we need to put out there? Well, what, what I can tell you is I can tell you what, what the foundation has done already. Yes. Just to give you an idea of what we have done. We've built 220 smart homes so far. And what a smart home is, is it's built for a catastrophic wounded veteran, someone who has lost multiple limbs. And the smart home is built to that person's desires, so what that person needs. Um, and basically cabinets are lowered to their level wow. so that they can cook for themselves. Uh, bad tubs are designed so they can get in and out of them appropriately. Um, since, the, since the foundation started, we have paid the mortgages for 510 first responders killed in the line That's of great. duty across this country. That's amazing. Um, Thank you. We have paid for mortgages for 300 Gold Star families. And our newest project is we're going to end veteran homelessness. We've already housed 3,000 homeless veterans, and it's not just for putting a roof over their head. It's to provide social services, drug rehab, job training. It's, it's programmed to put the veteran back out into society. So far, we've built villages in West Los Angeles, in Riverside, California, and in Houston, we have many cities on the line, many too, too many to mention, but Atlanta, Memphis, Buffalo, Harrisburg, and plenty more. And we're also building a village in Charleston, South Carolina. Wow. So, Joe, David, you guys are doing amazing stuff. I've got the uh, tournament flyer here. Um, they can, well, let's see. So they can call you, David? They can call me anytime. And the event is November the 14th, Correct. 2024, it's at Myrtlewood Golf Club. Correct. Um, it sounds, looks like a great event. You've got a lot of sponsors. And David, how can they get a hold of you if they want to help, they, they want to can, donate? They can call me at 843-331-3241. If I'm not there, please leave a message. Also at bondcraft.aol.com. B O N C R A ft at aol.com get a hold of me and i'll answer you right back these two gentlemen are doing amazing work let's help them thank you so much we really thank appreciate you i know i know thank we, you for we, we can't do anything to reverse what happened but we can help all the families that are going through it still after yes. 23 years so my friends until we tee it up again get a hold of david and help thank you all Thank you, AJ. Thank you. You're welcome. Introducing the Myrtle Beach Golf Trail, a new way to experience golf in Myrtle Beach. With over 20 courses to choose from, there's a perfect golf vacation waiting for you. Find the trail that's best for you at MyrtleBeachGolfTrail.com today. Located in the Restaurant Row area of Myrtle Beach, Thoroughbreds has been locally owned and operated from day one. Thoroughbreds offers only the finest quality cuisine and an unparalleled service. And it's not just food, it's a delicate art form. Thoroughbreds Chop House modifies the menu multiple times per year to capitalize on the current market trends. This allows them the opportunity to utilize local ingredients dependent upon the season. With an educated team of professional chefs from across the nation, the diverse menu is sure to satisfy even the most refined palates. 